Well, good morning. Got a treat for railway enthusiasts this morning, but I'm out of my comfort zone, not in Kingston, but 100 kilometers north in Smiths Falls, Ontario, where we're going to visit the Railway Museum of Eastern Ontario. <music> The museum occupies a former railway station, built between 1909 and 1912, decommissioned in 1979. It served as an important waypoint on the line between Toronto and Ottawa, and after protracted negotiations it became a museum site in 1985. There's a variety of railway rolling stock on the property. One of the more interesting items is a rail car originally built in 1913 to host passengers but converted in 1951 to serve as a mobile dentistry. This related to an Ontario programme started in 1933 to provide dental services to communities in the province's far north. It was finally taken out of service in 1977. A diesel locomotive, active for many years in the rail yards of Smiths Falls, and built in 1957 in Montreal for the Canadian Pacific Railroad, is one of several engines on site. The massive snowplow featured in the museum was built in 1935. It weighs an astonishing 65,700 pounds at 35 feet long, with extending side arms and a truly intimidating plow. The museum's prize exhibit is a steam locomotive of the class G16A. Its wheels are in the 460 configuration. Built in Montreal in 1912, it ran on coal for more than 40 years before conversion to oil and was finally retired from service with the Canadian Northern Railway in 1952. It's resided at the museum since 1992 and is one of only two surviving of 50 originally built. If you've enjoyed this insight into Ontario attractions, please like this video and consider subscribing to my channel. 